Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I would like to talk about acid indigestion, also known as acid reflux, and you get heartburn, and it's really uncomfortable, and um, it's something that I've experienced a lot in my life, and have a lot of experience with alleviating the trouble of, of this by doing natural remedies, natural cures for it. Um, the first thing that I did over 20 years ago was I went to an allergist because I suspected that I had food allergies. And the reason that I suspected that was because I would have the acid symptoms when I consumed particular foods and then not others so much. And um, <clears throat> I did go to an allergist and it helped me tremendously. It scared the crap out of me initially because I was told that I was allergic to wheat, soy, dairy, corn, peanuts, nightshade vegetables, um, I think even chicken, um, citrus, all citrus fruits, and at first I didn't believe it and then I started to I just kept eating you know the same foods and I noticed that every time I ate any of those foods that I would have symptoms to some, one degree or another and so it dawned on me that there must be something wrong here and so I started to analyze all the different foods and figure out well why might I be sensitive to that particular food and all of them have different reasons why I was sensitive to them and am still sensitive to them or allergic, just flat out allergic to them. And I do recommend that you read a good book on allergies, food allergies and, and air allergies, pollen, etc. And educate yourself and learn about the allergic load that you can have. You see, you have this allergic load and the more things that you're sensitive to, that you're being exposed to, the higher your allergic load is. And the more your allergic load is loaded, then the more you react to everything in your environment. And the more your digestive system rejects foods that you're eating. Even if they have a small amount, if you have a high allergic load, if you eat a small amount of something that you're allergic to, or if you breathe something that you're allergic to, you'll react because you're really sensitive. And so that really helped me tremendously. And you see, I've had a lot of problems with my digestive system for a lot of different reasons. I, I was eating the allergy foods, but also every time that I get sick, my mom would give me antibiotics or then when I became a young adult, you know, my 19, 20 through like 23, 24, I would once again go to a doctor and get a quick fix medication, uh, usually antibiotics, and then for my acne I started taking Accutane. And this really wiped out my digestive flora, the acidophilus, uh, the good bugs, the good bacteria in your digestive system are really important for keeping everything intact in there and not allowing the candida and, and other bad bacteria and viruses to proliferate. And so, in addition to all of that, I was eating foods that created residue in my body especially my digestive system. And wheat is just one of those foods, the gluten in it. It sticks to the villi in your intestines. It's, it just cakes your digestive system. And then I was also a meat eater, and you know, at least for me, and maybe not for you, but at least for me, any uh, animal foods, meat and or dairy, just clogs my whole body. And you can see that, you know, there's no way, if you think about it, there's no way that your digestive system, which acts as an extractant to extract all the vitamins and minerals from the food that you eat, there's no way that that digestive system 
can absorb the nutrients from the food if it's caked. And so the cleaner it is, the better it's going to function and the more caked it is with mucoid plaque, as it's called by Dr. Richard Anderson, that, that it's not going to function well and the more irritable it's going to get and the less it's going to digest and the more it's going to get backed up, you see? And so when the digestive system gets backed up, then it starts coming back up and your digestive system is going to have this reflux, just like reflexology with your feet, reflex the, the, the uh, uh, it sends signals from your feet to the rest of your body. It's sending a signal, uh, a, a nerve reaction to the other parts in your body so that it can heal it. So you can rub your feet and stimulate other parts of your body. Well, your digestive system, it goes, your esophagus goes right by your heart here, okay? So it's reflexing up the esophagus and that affects your heart or so you think it's affect it, it is affecting your heart but it's more affecting your esophagus to send a signal by your heart that's giving your mind a signal to say hey something is wrong here and so then you burp and you feel that acid you know that acid reflux in your esophagus okay so what you need to do is Con continue to work on eating less foods that you're allergic to and sensitive to and less foods that are creating stagnation and clean out your whole digestive system. And when you clean out your digestive system, you're also going to clean out your whole body because everything is connected and, you know, the blood is flowing and if the blood has got a... Uh, uh, particulate matter in there that's going to clog the arteries and the veins, then it's going to do that. And so the whole, it's not just your digestive system that's, that's all clogged up, it's your whole body. And so the whole thing has to be cleaned and that's why this is a long, long process. Okay, so don't just expect to be cleaning out your digestive system and rebuilding your digestive system because you're also working on your body and your mind. And so you've got to work on this in a holistic way. That's what I've been doing for such a long time now. And no, I have not achieved a perfect digestion. Sometimes it goes in cycles. Everything goes in cycles. And when you're doing this cleansing and healing, you're going to find that out real, well, maybe not so quick, but in time you'll see. And you'll see how oh, this happened then, and then this happened then, and then this happened then, just like the seasons go in cycles. So, learn about doing enemas to clean all that matter that's accumulated in your digestive system out of your large intestine. Read a book called um, The Guide to Better Bowel Care by Dr. Bernard Jensen. And that will help you tremendously to educate yourself on your digestive system, how it functions and what you need to do to cleanse and rebuild it. And so learn about these doing enemas and, and when your stomach feels really nauseous, learn about doing vomiting and do it the right way by neutralizing the acid with uh, baking soda and then just washing the whole thing out. Just like if you were to poison yourself and need to go to the hospital, <clears throat> they would wash out your gut. Well, that's what you need to do periodically whenever your gut is just turning and you're nauseous. You need to clean it out, but you, you need to clean it out from the upper end, the upper end of the digestive system, not the lower end, like which is what an enema does. So, um, you need to cleanse and heal your body and you know you need to work on your spirituality as well because everything mental physical spiritual and emotional is directly connected and if you get behind in one or the other then you'll get stuck and you won't be able to progress and um, so healing your body it takes a lot of time and you need to, to work on this and that and this and that and it's a journey. 
And uh, let's see, doing massage on your abdominal region is required, required for healing it because it needs manual manipulation. And so watch my videos on all of these different things. I've posted videos for every one of these subjects. And if you go to my home page and you put the subject into the little box on the top and then you click, then you'll see exactly which videos pertain. I have over 400 videos now and a lot of them pertain to these different subjects. And it's a lot to swallow, I know. It's a whole lot to think about and to, to remember. You can watch this video over and over again. And I'm going to keep going here because I can think of more things. Now, exercise is huge for acid indigestion because when you're running or walking or, or uh, doing some kind of an, an action, just deep breathing, simply deep breathing into your belly, just doing pranayama yoga breathing exercises is very important here because you're moving your lower digestive system. If you do breathe into your lower belly, that is, because most people don't. They're just breathing with their upper chest and not moving their diaphragms very well. And so their lower belly isn't moving. And when that lower belly isn't moving much, then it's not stimulating the peristaltic action that is required to help your digestive system to function properly. And so I think that a, re a reason that a lot of people are not breathing into their bellies is because they're holding in all of that toxicity and they don't want it to move. And, and so uh, it's really important to start thinking about breathing breath work as well as doing the exercise or in combination the two and if you feel like you have some acid indigestion it's really great to just go out and walk and breathe into your belly and focus on that and maybe even doing some intense breathing exercises into your belly and burp because if you've got air in your digestive system then it's going to come up and allow the food to go down and that will help the acid reflux to go away and you see people just they want a quick fix and so instead of doing all of these exercises and like think about it i mean this is not easy doing all these different things is not easy and so what do people do tums or or uh, Zantac or, or Pepsid AC. I know them well <laughs> from years ago. I haven't done any of that for over 20 years. And I've gotten rid of at least 90, 95% of the acid indigestion that I used to have. Now, nothing is perfect in this world. And so don't expect perfection out of me and don't expect perfection out of yourself. Just progress. Just progress and get better and better. You can do it. And, you know, everything in my life just continues to get better and better. And um, let's see, what else can I think about? Herbs. Okay, so herbs are God's medicine. Herbs are the real deal that you need to start learning about so that you can heal your body and mind, etc. And so there are certain herbs like, for instance, marshmallow and slippery elm that are really good herbs for soothing your digestive system. And then there are other herbs like neem that kill parasites and garlic that kills all, everything, everything worms, candida, and so um, learn about herbs and progress from there. Um, this video has gone quite a ways now and there's been a lot of information given to you so please watch it over and over again and write down the things that I've mentioned here and then focus on them. Thanks for joining me. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And I appreciate you so much. Bye-bye.